Chapter Thirteen. There is a businessman on the fourth star. Good morning, the little prince says to him, but he doesn't answer. Three and two make five. Good morning. Fifteen and seven make twenty-two. Phew! Then that makes five hundred and one million. Five hundred million. What? Says the little prince. Eh? Are you still there? I do very important work. Five hundred million. What? Says the little prince again. I have three bad stories. The businessman says, "The first bad story is about a mistake because of animal noise, and the second bad story is that I have pain in the body, and the third one is now." The businessman says, "Five hundred million what?" The little prince asks again. Millions of those little bright things," he answers. "Ah, you mean the stars? Yes, that's it, the stars. And what do you do with five hundred million stars? Nothing. I only own them. What good is it for you to own the stars? It makes me rich." And what good is it for you to be rich? I can buy more stars. How is it possible to own the stars? Because there is no owner of the stars. When you find a diamond that belongs to nobody, it is yours. I own the stars because they have no owner. Yes, that is true. But what do you do with them? Says the little prince. I count them and recount them. If I own an apple, I can eat it. But what can you do with the stars? Says the little prince. I write the number of stars on a paper, and I can put the paper in the bank. The businessman answers. It sounds. Romantic, but not important," thinks the little prince. "I have a flower and three volcanoes. I take care of them. That's what it means to own. But you don't take care of the stars. Men are strange," the little prince says. Chapter fourteen. The fifth star is the smallest. The star has a street lamp and a lamp lighter. I think this man is less strange than the others. The little prince says to himself, "It is beautiful to turn the street lamp on and off. Beauty is truly useful." Good morning. Why do you turn off the lamp? Says the little prince, "That is the order," replies the lamp lighter. "What is the order? The order order is that I turn off my lamp. I do not understand," says the little prince. "There is nothing to understand," says the lamp lighter. "Orders are orders." I'm very sleepy. I don't have the rest of the night for sleep," the lamp lighter says. "Why not?" the little prince asks. "Because this star moves faster and faster." "Then what?" asks the little prince. "Then the star makes one turn every minute." "What? One minute is a day?" The little prince says with surprise, "Yes, right now we are meeting for thirty minutes. Thirty minutes is a month, so we are meeting for a month." The lamplighter says. The little prince 
wants to help him. He is a true person. I can tell you a way you can rest whenever you want to. The little prince continues. This star can go all the way around in three steps. Just walk slowly, and it's still daytime, so that you can rest. That doesn't help. I want to sleep, says the lamplighter. The little prince goes away, and he thinks he's a wonderful person who works for others. The little prince says to himself, I want to make friends with him, but his star is too small. There is no room for two people. Chapter 15 The sixth star is very big, and an old gentleman is writing a big book on that star. What is that big book? And what are you doing? asks the little prince. I am an earth scientist. An earth scientist knows the location of all the seas, rivers, and mountains, answers the old gentleman. It's a great job. Is there a sea on this star? I don't know, the old man says. Ah. Then, what about a river or a mountain? I don't know. But you are an earth scientist. Yes, but I am not a traveler. An earth scientist cannot leave his desk. The earth scientist says, An earth scientist listens to a traveler and writes it down in a book. That's why the traveler's moral character is so important. Why is that? If the traveler lies, this book becomes a fake book. Also, a drunk doesn't help me. Then, when I meet a traveler of good character, I ask for proof of what he finds. But you, you come from far away. You are a traveler. Tell me about your star. The scientist opens the book and he holds a pencil. My star is small, the little prince says. My star has three volcanoes. I also have a flower. I do not write about flowers, the scientist says. Why is that? This is a very important book. I can change the story in this book. Flowers are short-lived, so a mountain is more important than a live volcano or a dead volcano. A mountain does not change, the scientist says. But what does that mean, short-lived? The little prince asks. It means it easily goes away, the scientist answers. My flower is short-lived, the little prince says to himself, and now she is alone on my star. He feels sorry. Go to the earth, the scientist says. So the little prince goes away, thinking of his flower. <laughs>